The cosmos is a fascinating and intriguing place. Things revolve, shine, move at incredible speed, and from time to time even perform intricate magic tricks. Eclipses are such tricks, where the sun and the moon in an elaborate scheme obscure the view of the sun from a small part of the Earth audience, totally or partially. Eclipses have probably been happening for thousands and thousands, if not million of years, but when exactly was the first recorded one? Our trip to the path of that totality leads us to County Meath, Ireland, where a succession of people who had inherited the land and visited it dating from the early 1800s discovered interesting engravings on walls and stones. Most importantly was the Dutch artist Dunoyer, who recorded many of the loft crew engravings in the 1860s, which proved very, very valuable since many of the stones have greatly weathered since then. Analysis of the engravings have dated them back to between 3000 and 3400 BCE. Then, in 1999, while examining one of the cairns where the engravings had been located, archaeologist Paul Griffin discovered a stone carving of overlapping concentric circles that he thought may depict an eclipse. He went to work for years trying to decipher the meaning of the circles, and in 2002 he was able to figure out that an eclipse most likely happened around the same period. The engravings were dated to using the Digital Universe Astronomy software from the Syzygy Research and Technology website. More precisely, it dated the eclipse to have occurred on November 30, 3340 BCE. There is debate and ongoing research being done on the subject with some researchers remarking that the engravings could mean something else. Many, though, find the current evidence strong enough to match both the date of said eclipse and the engraved depictions on the stones and have attributed the first recorded eclipse in human history so far to that event. Moreover, it is important to note that immediately in front of a carving that showed the overlapping, concentric circles, archaeologists found the charred remains of nearly 50 individuals, which may suggest that some sort of rituals may have been performed relating to the depictions. This would be in line with records from various cultures around the world who are recorded viewing eclipses as divine happenstances for better or worse. Another more recent and slightly less contested as a verifiable earliest recorded eclipse is the Yin, now Anyang, China, solar eclipse. In 1899, an Anyang pharmacist gave antiquarian and philologist Wang Rong a prescription for a traditional remedy made by grinding up so-called dragon bones. Wang was about to grind the bones when he noticed that they were adorned with ancient Chinese inscriptions. These weren't actual dragon bones, but oracle bones from oxen shoulder blades and tortoise shells once used to predict the future. Eventually, the artifacts were traced to a site near Anyang where some 50,000 inscribed oracle bones dating from 1400 to 1200 BCE have since been discovered. Many of them had very clear remarks about eclipses. One of the most famous ones is interpreted as reading, The king, reading the crack, said, The sun has been eaten. In conclusion, the first recorded solar eclipse in history, as far as we know right now, is the Lauf Kru Megalithic Monument, also known as the Hills of the Witch in County Meath, Ireland. Enjoy the eclipse happening this April 8, 2024, if you are somewhere where it will be visible. Whatever you decide to do on that day, Burning people as sacrifice to the eclipse god is definitely a no-no. Shooting arrows at the sun, though, may be acceptable. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.